thank you, Secretary Gonzalez, for your introduction. General Bangit, Vice Admiral Goles, the men and women of the Navy, the fleet, and the Marines. Our awardees, ladies and gentlemen, Mabuhay ang lahat ng kasapi ng hukbong dagat ng Pilipinas at maligayang anibersaryo. Congratulations to our awardees and congratulations to our Navy Flag Officer in Command who will celebrate his 56th birthday soon, Vice Admiral Ferdinand Goles. Congratulations also to all his predecessors as Philippine Navy FOIC, especially those who served since 2001. You together have presided over a sea change in the Navy, which started with the visiting of your principals, as I ordered early in my first term, and which came alongside our pursuit of modernization of the Navy over the years. The reforms in the Navy, and indeed in the entire AFP, resulted in re-energized personnel using better weapons and facilities. I was happy to see your state-of-the-art communication services today. I was happy to see the equipment that you have put together, some of them that you have fashioned yourselves in order to save our people from the disasters of the past and disasters yet to come because of climate change. I am happy to see what you have done with what other countries have helped us in naval assets. And uh, I recall with gratification how we were able to provide all kinds of needed naval assets from the cyclone which the U.S. government gave us during my first official visit in 2001, up to the rubber boats and now your new material boats, uh, which you need not only for rescue, but for your battles in the many rivers and seaways of our archipelago. I cannot forget how uh, we were so frustrated by the fact that the enemy would have faster boats than we. And it was because we were uh, concentrating our purchases on the bigger boats and forgetting, the, or not forgetting, but realizing the need for the smaller boats in the waterways. But we were hampered because the procedure for buying a small rubber boat of a million pesos or less was the same procedure as for buying one of the big BRPs. So when I was acting Secretary of National Defense, I decentralized the procurement of assets of 1 million pesos or less to our field commanders precisely so that you can buy those smaller but faster aircraft or sea craft that can defeat our enemies. Now we have a trimmer yet meaner Philippine Navy, Philippine Fleet, and Philippine Marines, capable of doing battle against enemies of the state as well as against poverty and against natural disasters, which, as I said, will be coming in greater frequency and intensity with climate change. Our Navy's achievements make me proud to have been your Commander-in-Chief. You have shown that the Navy can well defend our people's rights and liberty against all manner of modern-day threats, whether homegrown like Abu Sabaya or offshore like the poachers that try to raid our seas off the shores of Palawan. That battle which resulted in the fall of Abu Sabaya was spectacular. In fact, it has found its way into the annals of U.S. doctrine. So congratulations for that. But you have had many other 
great victories. Some of them uh, participated in by some of our awardees today in Basilan, in Mantanguli, in Palawan, which someday will become one of our premier tourist attractions. But first, we need you there to rid that island of the enemies of the state. And there is your Coast Watch, together with the U.S., and also your joint patrols, together with our neighbors in Southeast Asia. And because I am so proud of all this that you have done, we listened intentively, attentively, to the plans and visions of uh, Admiral Goles, even as he uh, talked about his accomplishment. And I would like to say on this your anniversary that I am very supportive of the intention of the Navy to procure your multi-role vessels. I am happy to say that today on your anniversary. This is a great day for the Navy. And yesterday was a great day for our nation. The votes are coming in, and the election was free, fair, and open. Our democracy is strengthened by the power of the ordinary Filipinos who exercise their constitutional right to vote to shape the direction of our nation. The new electronic voting was a great leap forward for ensuring a smooth and protected vote. I would like to think that it was a full fulfillment of the automation that we pushed for from the start of our presidency. Since my first State of the Nation address in 2001, I have asked Congress to finance the full computerization of elections. In the acronym Beat the Odds, which summarizes our 10-point medium-term agenda, the A in the Beat the Odds stands for automating our electoral process. We made it one of the top 10 goals of our agenda because it is vital to national harmony. So to all who made automation a reality and a success, congratulations. A true hallmark of a strong, functioning democracy is a smooth transition to a new government. As Admiral Goles will transition to a new leader of the Navy, so does the entire government soon. The people deserve to have their new leaders and old leaders put aside politics and focus on the future and the business of governing. So I call on the Navy and everyone else in our government, let us do everything in our power to make sure the new government has the benefit from day one of a strong, stable government.